Hi, I'm Lori Perlstein, the owner of Playworks. We teach acting and improv for kids, teens, and adults. The benefits of getting kids used to speaking publicly at a young age are definitely to get them more comfortable before they become an adult. I can't even tell you how many adults I've met who are like, how do you get on stage and do that? I'm terrified to get in front of people. And I feel like the older you get, the harder it is to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation like that. I think kids just generally are fearless. They're the first ones jumping into a freezing cold lake or a swimming pool. I think that's the time to get them comfortable because I think a lot of people miss out on a lot as they get older if they do have a fear of speaking in front of people. Just the idea of acting and improv is performing and I think any type of, even if it's an improv game in a class where it's not about performing, it's a group effort just making up a skit that's a really good way to work someone in because there's no audience everybody else is a class member other than myself and to them it's just playing they're just playing and having fun then the next step is you know in smaller groups they'll be up there let's say with somebody else and then there'll be five people watching them but they're other classmates and then the next step is by the eighth week having the parents come and watch and then playing the same games and having the same fun but with their parents around. So I think sort of taking baby steps is, is a great way to get kids comfortable just speaking and getting up in front of people and if it's under the pretense of play it's a lot easier to get them to do it. A nice simple game to start with would be something like Simon Says where a child is just getting up there and having all eyes on them and they sort of get to command the game without having to think of anything particular to add uh, other than you know body parts and stuff. Then you could go into something where it would require a little bit more creativity from them, something like charades. And I think when it's under the context of playing as opposed to having to read a book report to the class. Those are games I, I would always suggest to parents or teachers to get the kid playing outside of people that they're comfortable with. That can be a really good way to just slowly get them into being more comfortable getting up in front of people.